Good evening. Welcome to tonight's concert at the Lordson Amphitheater on the Killinger family stage. My name is Gary Hartsock and I will be your announcer for tonight. Allow me to introduce the New Horizons Band of Des Moines, part of a global network of over 250 bands, orchestras, and choirs with about 10,000 musicians in six countries that began in 1991 at the Eastman School of Music in New York, promoting music making for adults of all ages and abilities. The Des Moines chapter started in 2004 by Riemann Music and has grown into a vibrant, dedicated community of musicians. The band is under the direction of Carla Killinger and this year proudly celebrates their 20th anniversary. Now please rise if you are able and join my wife, Nancy Hartsock, in singing our national anthem. Composed in 1889, Washington Post March is one of the most famous works by American composer and conductor John Philip Sousa. Though Sousa was born shortly before the American Civil War, his music, including this march, became a symbol of the post-war era's growing national pride. Sousa wrote this piece for the Washington Post newspaper as part of an award ceremony for an essay contest. Washington Post March by John Philip Sousa.
The Civil War by James D. Ployhar captures the emotional landscape of the American Civil War with music reflecting the conflict, bravery, and resilience of the time. Iowa, having achieved statehood in 1846, played a significant role during the Civil War of 1861 to 1865, contributing over 76,000 soldiers to the Union cause despite being such a young state. These soldiers were part of key battles, such as Shiloh and Vicksburg, and Iowa's strong anti-slavery stance reflected its commitment to the Union. Ployhar's composition evokes struggle and unity, blending historical themes with period songs written in the 1850s and 60s. The Civil War by James D. Ployhar.
The next piece holds a special significance with director Carla Killinger. The American Standard March was composed by Carla's grandfather, Henry Killinger, at the age of 26 in 1930. For nearly 100 years, Killinger family members have dedicated their lives to enriching the music experience in Iowa and throughout the United States and Canada through both music education and performance. The story of the Killinger family music legacy in Iowa began in the early 1920s when Henry Killinger partnered with Iowa's March King, Carl King. Their partnership led to Henry leading the United States Gypsum Mill Band, playing baritone in King's Fort Dodge Municipal Band, and directing city and school bands in Iowa. The friendship was so great that Henry named his firstborn Carl after Mr. King. Here is Carla Killinger directing her grandfather Henry Killinger's American Standard March on the Killinger family stage. Duke Ellington was born in 1899 in Washington, D.C. He was a pianist, composer, and big band leader. He started to play publicly when he was 19 years old in 1918, the same year as the influenza pandemic. His public career continued for the next 50 years, writing over 2,000 pieces of music. He received the Presidential Medal of Honor in 1969. This arrangement that the band will play includes three tunes, Satin Doll from 1953, Mood Indigo, 1931, and 1932's It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing. 
We hope you enjoy Salute to the Duke by Michael Sweeney. Meredith Wilson, originally from Mason City, Iowa, was a composer, conductor, and musician who played flute and piccolo with the John Philip Sousa Band. His most famous work from 1957, The Music Man, is an iconic American musical that captures small town life in early 20th century Iowa. Alfred Reed's arrangement includes the musical's most memorable tunes, 
Wells Fargo Wagon, Till There Was You, and 76 Trombones. Here is Highlights from the Music Man by Meredith Wilson and Alfred Reed.
In celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Des Moines chapter of New Horizons Band, we are honored to have with us the gentleman who conducted this fine group for the past 20 years. Ron Reekman retired in 2001 after teaching instrumental music for 39 years in public schools in Northwest and North Central Iowa. He then moved to Des Moines where he worked at Riemann Music in Urbandale, teaching piano and saxophone and continues giving lessons today. In the fall of 2004, he was asked to become director of the newly formed New Horizons Band, which Riemann's was sponsoring. The group of about 12 adults, some who had never played an instrument, began rehearsals on Thursday nights in October of 2004 under Ron's leadership and presented a Christmas concert at a senior retirement center. That very first concert was covered by TV and newspaper. To fill out the program for that concert, members could volunteer to play solos or duets. That opportunity continued for a few years until the band itself could prepare enough music to fill one hour. The group then decided that they could do multiple performances, so the present schedule was adopted. Four concerts in November and December, and four concerts in May, and one or possibly two in the summer months. Ron has special memories of taking the band to New Horizons Band Festivals in Davenport and Iowa City. Groups from four different cities got together to play for each other and then perform a selection with all the bands playing together. He remembers fondly the many potluck meals the group had together and the band taking turns bringing treats to rehearsals. Ron says that throughout these past 20 years, one thing that has been constant is the care and concern that the members have genuinely shown for each other in the hard times and celebrated with each other in the good times. New Horizons Band is about musicians being family together. Ron will be conducting the next selection by Iowa's own March King, Carl King. King was born in 1891 in Ohio. He was a circus musician and composer, having composed at least 291 works, 185 of them were marches. The Hometown Boy March was the final march that King ever wrote. It was dedicated to his friend and contemporary, Meredith Wilson. King participated in the Mason City Band Festival in 1962 and premiered this march at that time in honor of his dear friend. Here is Maestro Ron Reekman and the New Horizons Band performing Carl King's The Hometown Boy.
The next piece that the band will play celebrates the Beatles and the enduring influence on music and culture while showcasing the unforgettable melodies of Ticket to Ride, Hey Jude, and Get Back. Listen to this moving tribute that captures the essence and impact of the Beatles' music. Best of the Beatles arranged by John Moss.
Your uh, Beatles number ties in nicely, actually, with your Music Man medley. Uh, the Beatles had a lovely version of Till There Was You. I don't know if you were aware of that. Before the band plays their final number of the evening, we would like to say thank you to Sam Carroll and Waterworks Park for allowing us to perform in this beautiful venue. To Raymond Music for making the world sound better since 1953. Uh, Riemann Music for making the world sound better since 1953. And to this band for dedicating their time to making music together. We should probably thank the weatherman too. Any meteorologists in the house? Well, thank you. The motto of New Horizons Music International is music for life. What better way to celebrate a 20th anniversary than playing on a stage that is dedicated to honoring music education in Iowa and to offering free quality performances to the community. We are proud and honored tonight to perform on the Killinger family stage. And it just so happens that the two people who are responsible for establishing this stage are in the audience with us tonight. Thank you to Carrie and Linda Killinger for making this stage possible through the Killinger Family Foundation. Also welcome to family members Ron and Lori Cliff. Now for our final toe-tapping song, we pay tribute to the legendary Maynard Ferguson, a remarkable trumpet player from Canada. In the 1950s, Ferguson gained fame as the featured trumpet player with the Stan Kenton Orchestra. And in 1956, he formed his own band, quickly rising to popularity in the 1970s and 80s. His influence on jazz music, particularly within high school jazz bands, was immense, especially on this band's own conductor. Here is maestro Carla Killinger and the New Horizons Band playing Gospel John by Andy Clark.
Ladies and gentlemen, the New Horizons Band. Thank you for coming and have a nice evening. Drive home safely.